What is up, guys? I am back for part two of that Breckenridge Airbnb wedding. Uh, this part, we actually go outside and get in the snow a little bit. And thanks for joining. If you want to watch part one, um, I put it in a link on the description below. So let's just jump right into it. So this is right after the family formals from part one. So we're just kind of jumping right back into where we're going. I believe uh, there's my light there. I was going to take them outside here. Let me listen. Yeah, I think I just told them we're going to go outside. And there's a little uh, balcony right out the bay windows over here. Sorry, I keep pointing like you can see me where I'm pointing at. And then there's this little walkway back here. So I'm just going out to check it out for the first time and just kind of see if I can see that scene and, and all the chairs and stuff have been moved on this side. <laughs> so he comes out and he's like, you want me to move this? I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, maybe, you know, if you just get stand over here, I can get at least because there was this little sliver of mountains right back there, as you can see. And, and at this Breckenridge home, like that's really the only view you could see in the distance, like the mountains, like the trees are blocking the other point of view over here. All these trees are in the front bay window. It's like you couldn't really see past over on this side. It was just this little sliver right here. So he's like, no, no, let me let me push this stuff out of the way. He was just awesome. He's in his dress shoes, like dragging snow around and just so we're we're kind of just moving furniture and all that stuff. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That little walkway over there. It's just there was really no view. So I just I'm just like, well, maybe we can just jump around, you know, at least get that little view like you see on the the picture here. And I got a couple photos that I think most of them I delivered. So I'll just kind of pan through them just so you know what I'm kind of taking photos of. But I think my uh, battery actually dies here. So you don't actually get to see me shooting the photos. But I just wanted to point this out just because so you can kind of see. Yeah, like right here. I mean, I just put my light stand like right here in the corner and then came around and I think it ends right here but yeah so I just wanted to get that photo right here so now now there's open right open space right here I could get the little bit of mountain because I thought with this Airbnb these guys are from Florida they already did their wedding in Scotland I think prior so they wanted to come out and get some mountain views and stuff like that but then it dumped snow they only hired me for a short amount of time and they they hired me like last second notice so I really wanted to get at least a little bit of mountain view for them. And here, sorry, that was the, that was where my battery died. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this play. I think, I think I'm just grabbing my lights. We're gonna go outside in the back door and I'm gonna try to find another location. But uh, as you can see here, while, this, while I'm walking outside here, I'll show you a couple of the photos I did get out there. So I did get a couple, you know, I got a few little views there. Got them smiling, got them kissing there. And then I thought, okay, this view could be kind of cool too because then you can kind of see the hills. But it still just wasn't enough. I was hoping to get more. But I'm, I'm glad we did actually go out there and just take a couple photos at least. But that's about all we got. So, And then, sorry, I'm going to go back here. So it looks like I'm going outside here. We're all coming out. Oh. I think I can't remember what he was showing me there. There we go. There's my car. There's Bernard. I call him Bernard. It's my Forester. It's got snow tires on. Thank, thank goodness. <laughs> Especially for the way it just dumped. Like a day before, it just dumped. It, there was like no snow. I think a day before. So, so here I was just trying to map out and just see. If it was possible, because there was just no view, it was just all houses. So <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to I see to if it was just possible if I could get up to the, on this top of this hill where all these trees are. All right. <laughs> I was just seeing if it's possible to walk up there. See, because you can just see there's all oh, there's this house. I might be able to get there. a view up there. I can check it out. <laughs> see, as you can see how <laughs> deep it is. <laughs> I don't want you guys to go up. If there. I can't make it, I don't want you guys to try. <laughs> oh, it's brick there. Yeah. 
You got some slippery shoes, so be very careful. Yeah, they were all for it though. They were like, they're like, oh yeah, we'll go out there. <laughs> it's so funny. They're from Florida. <laughs> she know, had boots I mean, on. It looks like it flattens out up here. I think I actually fall we... up here in a second. Just trying to think of a better way for you guys. I mean, I made it. You sure? <laughs> like, yeah, we'll get up there. Just be careful. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it ain't too bad. And right here, I think I biff it. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's very slip. Oh, man. <laughs> At least I had my walking cane it's right there. It's beautiful, actually. Yeah, but then I just realized, you know, it's beautiful. <laughs> Let me turn on the photos again. As I'm getting up there, oh, I, I like this photo, too. This was a pretty good one. They got a, got a good laugh out of her, but from earlier. So, I mean, it was worth just moving that stuff and putting one light up there, you know, just kind of make them pop out a little bit more. So let me jump back to my camera. And here, I think I'm just climbing up and waiting for them. So I'm going to fast forward here. Do, do, do. Yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> she kept falling. <laughs> They're both falling down too. Actually, I think that is the end of that video too. My battery just kept dying on my camera. This is the last video here. The rest of the footage is on this one where we actually start shooting here. So yeah, you can actually see her. <laughs> <laughs> like you just went on a hike. <laughs> She just, she sat down in her dress like in the snow because she was just out of breath. Like they're from Florida, you know, the elevation up here. <laughs> but she's just like, I don't care. I'm just gonna sit you down. They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they were so awesome. They can't help them. And he started slipping here, yeah. So I went and tried to help him. I can grab my arm. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> a little elevation. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to fast forward here and get to the photo part. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see right here, you know, there was a view out there. And it was, this was as best we can get, but you can really see like all the houses. So down there, we couldn't see any of this. So I'm really glad they, they decided to climb up the top of the hill and I think I don't know where my flash is I might have already set oh yeah so I set up my flash right over here and it looks like I'm just going bare flash too it's the 8200 I didn't have no modifiers on the end so it's just straight bare flash I just wanted to kind of pop them out a little bit you know because it was cloudy skies it was like midday so I just want a little extra light, you know, I didn't need it. I think I want a little natural light and light. And I always like the options. It's always nice to have a, a different look with light and without light. So I think here I was just kind of testing the light and setting my settings. Um, I don't know exactly what settings I had on here. I got all, all the photos that pop up. It does show. Let's see here. It does show the settings up in the corner, just in case you're wondering. But, oh yeah, then I did, as I'm setting my light, I'll show you. I did a few photos inside as well. And I had a light, I think it was right back behind her, as you can see, kind of the hair light. And then I had another light crossing. So I had two 8200s back and forth. I don't think I had grids on them. I might have had maybe grids, actually, So as you can see. And my camera was kept kept shutting off, so I didn't get any footage of this part. But yeah, just some of these I delivered. Most of them I delivered. And you can see where the light was. It's right up here, the backlight. And then just kind of playing with the stuff in the room. Got a couple of these, and a lot of these were delivered. And just the reactions and smiles. And there is where we're at right now. So. So, 
Let me go back to what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. I laugh a lot in this video, too, can, just because we're in I'll snow. Put this on the side so you don't hand on it. Yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> so I think I took a few right. with my 35 here. Alrighty, then. Cool, guys. Oh, yeah. 35 there. Better get a slide down when we're done. <laughs> right through there. <laughs> All right. So I think. Let's see here. I can try to get down low as I can so I can try to avoid most most of the houses. Yeah, I think this was my first shot. As you can see, got a lot of houses there. And then just got really low, right. and you can see just the big difference. Ooh, I got behind the wet. snow a little bit. <laughs> Don't sit in the snow. <laughs> All right, guys. And then that's perfect. All right, look at each other. Perfect. Yeah, there I got really low. This is where I took this photo, I think. Ooh. And then I went by the tree here, took another photo like that. Great. Just getting a couple different angles. A couple tighter shots here. And as you can see, my camera is full of snow. Oh, shit. I was like, I can't see. <laughs> so when, when you're kneeling down, like me, I like to shoot really low with my, my 35 and stuff like that. And I was kneeling down and my, obviously, my other lens was sticking in the snow. So, so if you have two cameras and you're shooting outside in deep snow, always remember when you're down on the ground, you're getting your photos, always remember your other, your other camera's probably in the snow. So just be aware of that. But I do like to use, I really wanted to try my 70 to 200 in the, for this position too, just because of the focal length. Cause you can really compress that photo and as I'm, it's going to take me a while to clean this lens because it was so smeared. But as you can see here, I'll just go through these photos real quick. So I got the wide view up high, which is total different look. You know, you get all the houses, the view, everything. And then I got low to just try to cut out the, all that noise and just kind of block it with all this snow. And then that light just kind of makes them pop out a little bit more. You know, I did a little angle here. And then this this one's actually from my 7200. I didn't I wasn't couldn't get back far enough to like compress it to 200 length, but you can just see even at 70 millimeter the difference from 35, just how close the mountain is compared to say this one, you know, or it's just way back there, or this one is just so much farther back. So just that little bit of compression. That's why I like to do that when there is a a mountain way back in the distance or any kind of thing I wanted to, it just brings it up to the back of the, the couple. So it really makes it pop out a little bit more. Let me go back here real quick and see what I'm doing. So here is where I'm trying to shoot with the uh, 7200, I believe. I think I only shot a couple right here and then. Perfect. Let's see. That's perfect. All right, guys, let's look at each other again. I'm going to get up closer now. I got my 35 on. Yeah, let's look at each other. Try to get that view behind you. Recycle time. There we go. Right there. That's probably about right where that photo is. Awesome, guys. And I don't really do a I mean, lot. Just keep looking at each other. I'm just going to get a couple tight shots since we're up here. A little few little different eagles. A couple tight shots. There, I got my 7200 again. Just getting up close. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I'll just tell them, you know, just just focus on each other. You know, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the moment. If I, you know, want to move you or do something amazing. else, you guys I'll, are great. I'll, I'll let you know, but which I do, you know. Just trying different angles and stuff. And some things do work, some things don't. Uh, I'm going to go natural light real quick. Look at each other again. I think these there are more go. natural here. I should have went through the raw files, but these are just some I delivered. <laughs> I didn't want to go through again the while we're here. Perfect, guys. Get some natural light with this one. It's 
go 1.4. There we go. Perfect, guys. Not that they really need to know I'm going 1.4, but... <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> there, I must go back to light. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to veil thing. Here. <laughs> <laughs> the big, the big veil. I can try. I might try to just get it in the shot, kind of. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to try light with this one. Get all crazy and stuff. So this one, I'm trying to get the veil in front, just for a little foreground look. Um, only problem is the wind kept... It was, the wind was coming from behind her, from the right. There you go. So it kept blowing Actually, it I'm gonna turn this down so I'm the wrong way. <laughs> like I needed the wind to come the other way, so it's like a sail. So it Are you guys really cold? Curve. No, good. Are you good? Okay. <laughs> I, was, I think it was that hike. <laughs> We've been going about 16 minutes. <laughs> Probably, this is almost wrapped up here. I think this is... Oh yeah, he had little walkie-talkies too. But yeah, I think I came down to the fact that I had to move them to the opposite side just because the... It's taking me a minute to set my light here. Let's see if I can set... Oh, sorry. I just pulled it on. Yeah, see. You can really see it like, like panning this way. It's like arching this way. I want it to arch the other way. Thank you. <laughs> He's waiting on us. You know? Is he? Having Wonder issues. Can we pop it back? No, because the wind's going this way. I might just have you just twist around and face that way. And then I might have you get on this side. Just so I can use that wind to my advantage. Yep. And then you get on the other side, Bill. I'm going to swap this light over here. Whoa. So here I, I move the light just because when there's a bride and a groom, I always want the light on the groom's side. So all the direct light hits her. And then, so she, so she gets most of the soft light, the more just straight on light and he gets the more chiseled, more shadowy kind of dramatic light. If so, if they're looking at each other per se, like it's, it's directed right on her face. So that's why I moved my light there. Yeah, that's cool. So just look at each other. See, now this it's one? doing that nice curve. Perfect. Now I can go to the, <laughs> and there, then maybe move her here on this side a little bit back. See, okay, perfect. You can really see that curve there. That's what I was going for, because the wind was already naturally there. And there, I got a little bit lower, and there, I kind of like that look, too, with the light. Really Are popped. Oh, okay. Can't really Perfect. see. Go for a kiss. I'd wring my hand all the way around just to... <laughs> but it worked. And I got a kiss. Put your heads together. Oh. Some warm. So... Got the kiss, heads together. And then I went underneath, tried to get a couple like that. That didn't work as good, but still yeah. <laughs> got one to deliver at least. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I think that's good. Yeah, just kind of like the little little swoop, you know? <laughs> Perfect. All right, we can. All right, down the hill. I think so, yeah. Right, right. Oh, I can get by it here. Yeah, amazing. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I love that reaction. <laughs> I, I always like to show them at least one, because when they're, when they're working that hard to climb up on the hill <laughs> in all this snow, it's like it's good to show them, like, hey, you know, it was worth coming up here, you know, just to get a few of these photos. I mean, it was definitely worth worth the walk so and here just to recap like just these last photos i really just i really i think this was like one of the gallery gallery cover ones or this one i really like that one as well just the swoop through any anytime i can get a little foreground and now yeah i think they were just kind of oh yeah they were trying to walk so i i wanted to 
<laughs> get a couple of them in the action. Actually, I don't know if I direct them. Uh, maybe on this side, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's not oh, I'll do that. And if you either want to hold hands, that that can help. Oh, I was going to try to do other. a little, little walking. You can just hold the flowers in that hand. Since they were walking together, but then it just, <laughs> it was just and too And we steep. don't really have to walk. <laughs> She's like, okay, then I'm done. Now she was starting to get over it. So I took a couple photos and I'm like, all right, let's just go. Because <laughs> it was getting to the point where, yeah, because it kept hooked in on her dress, I think. But I did a, did get a couple of them walking, I think. <laughs> and then he kind of acted like he fell, I think. You know, so it was, it was kind of neat. I mean, because they did fall a lot, so. <laughs> oh, these guys. It was funny. Yeah, see, I'll just show you the photos right here. So, yeah, I mean, I, I delivered like four photos, I think. They were just walking, and it was just so tight up there. I mean, I got a couple other reactions. Then he just kind of, <laughs> I did the old slip knack and made her laugh. So, so yeah. I mean, that's all it. I really, and then I got a few more of them. Oops, I keep hitting this. Kind of walking down, and he's looking at me smiling, and she didn't know I was shooting. And then she fell, and she was just trying to slide on her butt. <laughs> And then he, he actually slid down and, like, fell. So, yeah. And then they made it inside. So, yeah, that was about it. I think I just captured them um, walking down. And we all walked inside, I believe, in the final. But, and then once we went in there, you know, she sat down, got her boots cleaned off there, and... Got a couple of just shots of her, and I, I kind of like that picture. So, and they were just relaxed, and they were just like, "Oh, we're done." <laughs> so I took that photo real quick, and it was just kind of a nice little ending of that whole extravaganza. <laughs> and then there was their homemade cake. Took I, I did a bunch of details when I first got there. I don't think I had put that on the first video, but and then they were just wanted to sign this real quick. So I'm like, "Okay, I'll just take a few photos, capture them." Sign in there, thing there, and then got a picture of them, and that's it, I believe. Yep, it goes back to the beginning. So yeah, that is the end of a pretty good day. So yeah, it was great though. I mean, if I'm so glad they went up on the mountain here and decided to take a few of these photos, because I think these were kind of some of the best photos for being up in Breckenridge in the winter, because. I mean, if you're going to be go from Florida and go that far to have a like a wedding with your family and stuff, I mean, you want at least a couple photos to show what's behind, what's out there. And so I really, really glad they went up there. We were only up there maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops. So, I mean, it was well worth just showing the view and I mean, seeing the whole area of where we were shooting at. So, yeah, it worked out pretty good there. But I believe that is all I got there. If you want to watch the first video behind the scenes, uh, part one, I put it in a link below in the description. So go ahead and rewatch that. And I'm going to try to keep keep doing this, trying to keep plugging, plugging away. This is my first kind of time trying this. So bear with me. I'm, I'm trying to just walk through and hopefully more in the future, there'll be more. I can just let it play and you can just kind of hear the way I direct, you know, things I have people do. And then if I ever see anything, I'll just kind of point out what I'm trying to do. But this is just how I, how I shoot weddings and engagements. So, but anyways, thanks for watching again. And yeah, um, link down in the comments below. Like if you have any suggestions or if you want to see anything special for weddings or getting ready parts to you know the ceremonies because i'm going to be starting doing ramping up here pretty soon doing more weddings tomorrow i got a wedding in estes park it's supposed to be 17 degrees and 50 mile an hour winds so we'll see how that goes but yeah i'm just going to try to keep plugging out content and so if you want anything special 
a comment below or send me a message and I'll get back to you. But until next time, like and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications.